I mean, the right. man is out of his mind. And I know the three of you have questioned, why would a 24-year-old have conversations with this man? Oh, no, no, no. I, I have the answer. It's all she does. She loves relationships with older men who can do things or give her things. Yeah, I'll, I'll answer that. I know what you're thinking. Why would I talk to an older man like this? Oh, it's all you do, Kate. It's all you do. You talk to Chad for hours and hours and hours. He's an older man. Alex Stein, all these other fucking losers. No, you're into old men. <laughs> it's like, what were you doing? Oh, you're into old men. That's what you were doing. I mean. Right. Why do you want to listen to him? How awesome do you think his stupidity sounds via phone call? John, this could be a lie, but I have a lot of secrets of yours that mm. you may not want to hear. See what I mean? So she recorded him saying all this stuff, and now she's, like, threatening him. And it's like she's too dumb to understand she's tiptoeing on the edge of blackmail, which is a crime. Just to zoom out on how this all started. Kate Meany tried to strike five videos on my channel because I was saying things about her she had said about herself, but didn't want repeated. No one, sh she really thought no one should be able to talk about her. She tried this with Kiki and Gina, remember that? She tried this with Chad, she tried it with KB, she tried it with John. Then she tried to threaten to dox little Emmy's children, remember this? Where they go to school, what their names are. Insanity, she's allowed to do anything she wants, but you can't say anything about her she doesn't like. And she'll record you and then go on a show and make threats like, I'd be careful if I were you. You wouldn't want this coming out. You're, you're, this is borderline blackmail, what you're doing. But you know everything. Carry on. <laughs> oh, Listen to that. This is a bomb show. I have show. you using slurs. I have you dropping the end bomb. Oh, I shit. hear you saying f bombs. I Ooh. hear you saying transphobic letter uh, <sighs> uh, uh, rhetoric. Wow. Have... So, so Kate Meany is is floating here because she's never been valued. And the sad thing is, she thinks that somehow all of this means people want her around or value her opinion or think she's good at this, et cetera, et cetera. No, 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 okay. No, you are not close to talented. You're not talented adjacent. And mark my words, Kate. Listen to me, you stupid slut. The minute you're done with all this, you'll you'll be thrown aside again. Carl doesn't give a fuck about you. Shuli doesn't give a shit about you. The minute you're done with this, you'll be Subway gum again, okay? So you better hope mommy doesn't die anytime soon and that the money you've been leaking away from your family's fortune for years and years and years doesn't ever dry up because again you can't sustain there you don't have it you're not hot enough you don't know enough you're not attractive enough you're not street smart enough you're too dumb to make it in new york on your own the minute i'm not kidding you you stupid bitch think about what i'm saying the minute your mommy is dead, you're out of there. You're out of there. You've got no friends, no family, no structure. We all know that you melt down two or three times a week and have to run home to mommy to drink wine and cry and dip into her medicine cabinet. Hello? We all know that. We all know that. We've heard the stories. Chad's told story after story after story about you running home and crying about Melton. John has now admitted that you won't ever stop crying about Melton. I ain't even done anything to you in the past forever, you stupid bitch. I'm just the only guy you can't work. It's the same with Steel Toe and the rest of them. I'm the only guy you can't manipulate and work. Surely and Carl may sit around clapping like fucking seals and, and try to make you feel like you have talent or worth. You don't. You don't. You won't see it from me over here. I'm not. I, I saw somebody was like, uh, Wow, now now Carl loves Melton, and Melton loves Carl, and now Carl's friends with Kate, so Melton loves Kate. And this is, I don't. I don't. And by the way, you're hurting her. You're hurting her, dragging her into all this, humoring her with all this, letting her become a part of this world again to be kicked out. How many times are we going to watch her get bruised and run and hide behind her mom and suck down enough wine to get enough courage to stick, stick her toe back in the dabbleverse. We've seen enough of it. We've seen enough. Let her go. 
Let her go. I mean, look, she's an, I'm not. She doesn't deserve any of this. She's not good. She's not interesting. She's not poignant. She's not thoughtful. She's not intelligent. She's not logical. She doesn't have any any sort of angle on anything that's compelling. Uh, let's like stop acting it. What does she have? She has recordings of John. You want to hear? That's it. That's it. Be honest with her. At least be honest with her.